Welcome to this episode of APIS Tech Tips, a series of short explainer excerpts from real APIS training courses. This episode gives you a high-level view of the 5G system architecture, and it comes from the course 5G Core Network in an Hour. Enjoy! On this slide, we're in Chapter 3 now, slide number 2. I would like to show you the, um, the general um, definitions for the architecture that are based on this horizontal line over here. This is the service-based architecture uh, representation. This is a communication line that interconnects the elements in the 5G core network. And these, as I said, elements in the 5G core network, these are different network functions. Each network function is defined in the standards and it has defined capabilities, what it is that it does. So, for example, this one over here, this is the access and mobility management function, is responsible for UE's access and for managing the mobility of a UE. Now, in order to manage the UE, this network function over here offers certain services. These services are opened to anybody that is on this uh, communication bus over here over a service-based interface which is called this capital letter N is the reference point in the 5G core and then over here you can see the name of the network function that offers the services so this is the NAMF service-based interface and as you can see in the 5G core network there is a big number of these atomic capabilities defined. In the standards, they tried to see what needs will we have to handle the different subscribers with the different applications they are using. And then we defined a number of functionalities to help us with the different aspects of treating the subscribers. So you can see over here session management function to manage sessions policy control function to manage policies, authentication server function to manage authentication, and so on and so on. These are, as I say, atomic capabilities for some quite detailed handling of a particular user equipment. You can see over here my UE, it's, uh, uh, it can uh, contact the core network by speaking of all the network functions I mentioned over here, the UE speaks only to this one called AMF, Access and Mobility Management Function. This is the logical interface that interconnects them. In reality, the actual bits, the communication, goes over the access network and then the access network uh, access a relay towards the AMF. So this is where physically the information goes through the part which is called here, next generation radio access network, the NGRAN. Uh, we are talking here about the core network, that's this whole part of the picture, but we get connectivity over the access network. And here you can see the new radio that we mentioned earlier on, the specialized 5G definitions for the access network, or the possibility that you can have also non-free GPP access. Uh, which represents uh, here, that's what the Wi-Fi says. 3GPP, third generation partnership project, is a standardization group that does almost all of the standardization work uh, for these uh, 5G systems and they are the source of uh, all the mm, uh, pictures and information that I am showing you over here. So when it says non-3GPP, it simply means we are talking about something that was not defined in the documents prepared by this particular group of people. So, I can have a user equipment speak to the core network indicating what it is that it would like to do and ultimately what we would like to do is we would like to be able to send data from the application client that sits on this user equipment to the application server that is somewhere out there in the data network on the other end of my picture over here which means I need to interconnect, I need to create a, as we call it, user plane connection between the UE over some radio resources to the access network, then going into a network element called the 
user plane function, which is like, for example, an IP router, and then through potentially a sequence of these user plane functions, we end up connecting the data to go out of the 5G operator's environment and enter the data network where we have the application server sit that is actually responsible for that communication. And in this picture over here, I was talking basically about user equipment that is using its own operator's network. So I am a subscriber on this particular network. The part that was added on my picture over here is the fact that you can have communication between this operator and some other operator. This public land mobile network uh, is another way of saying a mobile operator. And you can see that interconnection between operators goes through an element which is called security edge protection proxy. As we said, security is a big thing in the 5G specification. So you can see here, for example, this is an interoperator uh, security thing. And one more thing I would like to point out over here, communication with some external data network, either locally or going through the SEP to some other place. It's about getting access to uh, the application uh, information from an external application function. And please notice over here, there is a possibility of communicating from the customer of the mobile operators into the mobile operators network. This external application function seems to have a possibility to talk to the elements that are here on this communication bus. This happens through an element which is called the NEF, network exposure function, which is responsible for securely exposing the capabilities of a mobile operator's network to some external influence, which basically means that the customer of a mobile network can indicate to the operator of a mobile network how do we want the user plane to look like. And this means that we can much better work with this uh, approach that the one-size-fits-all network is no longer the correct approach. In the 5G system, you can have much more precisely structured logical networks that are going to carry data from certain applications with certain needs, keeping in mind that these needs are usually represented by one of these five options that we saw uh, previously in the uh, defined 5G use cases. If you enjoyed this APIS tech tip, check out the full APIS course 5G Core Network in an Hour, where this video came from. The course offers a condensed view of the 5G core network as specified by 3GPP, while also summarizing important improvements and new concepts when comparing with 4G. To check this course out in more detail and all our other training, just visit us on www.apistraining.com.